have done our best to support all the satellite activity according to the ESA requirements. I would like to focus on the last part of the campaign focus. called Combined Operation, which illustrates especially the efficient involvement of all the teams. Stéphane, what does Combined Operation stand for? Combined means that the satellite with, uh, which have completed its preparation and fueling phase joins the launch preparation phase to reach together the launch day. We succeed to pass the ambitious day of the upper composite transfer to the launch pad and then onto the launcher on the same day. So after this transfer of responsibility, a new phase started called the final preparation. The upper composite was integrated on the launcher, then the fourth stage of room was filled. And finally, we had the dress rehearsal with a launch base followed by the launcher arming and ending with the final countdown. So the VV-09 mission target is to place the Sentinel-2B into the sun synchronous orbit. So the first part of the flight will involve the three solid rocket motors, the P-80, the Z-23 and the Z-9. The fairing will be separated just after the ignition of the Z-9. Then, after a short uh, ballistic phase following the separation of the Z-9, the AVUM will be ignited for a first boost lasting about seven minutes. At the end of, the, of this boost, the apogee is uh, reached for the nominal altitude of the final mission for the spacecraft. After the completion of this boost, 40 minutes ballistic phase is implemented. And after this uh, ballistic phase, second boost of the AVUM is performed for a duration of about two minutes. And then the separation of something to be is performed. Four minutes, 30 seconds. So there you have it. That's what's coming up. Woo! And uh, Looks I'm back beautiful. the commentary box now. Oh, my green screen is... Four minutes and 21 seconds to launch. The status panels are all green, and that means we are go for launch. Technical difficulties. Top H0 minutes. And there we have the beginning of the synchronized sequence. That was the range operations manager there announcing the beginning of that sequence for vega it's four minutes and right now the computers are controlling four minutes till launch the countdown they actually manage a very impressive list of operations i bet so this is the mission control center and there are a number of different teams working in here Each team sits at a different desk, and that control center is about 15 kilometers or so from this pad. There's only one mission control center, but we do have several other control centers here at the base because each launch zone has its own launch control center, and this is the Vega launch control center. And the teams here are watching over these final operations in the countdown. We've got several different teams. One is responsible for all the operations on the ground. They also coordinate with mission control for the final authorization to launch. And their quality team ensures that they follow procedures correctly. We also have another team which is responsible for the flight readiness of the vehicle. And they oversee all the operations from the assembly of the launcher to the moment of launch. And their quality team also ensures that everybody in adheres to procedures. So they're about three kilometers from this pad. In fact, they're so close, they're in a blockhouse. It's called the bunker. There's the mission director, another key person here in the mission control center. So. We're two minutes to launch, and the final countdown actually started just over nine hours ago. A few key events during that time. Four hours and 40 minutes before launch, the onboard computer and loading of the flight program. 
And then 3 hours and 15, the mobile gantry was withdrawn. That took 45 minutes. And about uh, 48 minutes ago, the launcher system ready was announced. And we had the final weather check about uh, eight minutes ago, 10 minutes before launch. And the status panel for the weather is green, so that's a good sign. A tous de DDO, attention pour H0 moins une minute. We are one minute to launch. We are live at the Guiana Space Center and we are launching Sentinel 2B for the European Space Agency, the European Commission, built by Airbus Defense and Space. Good luck to all the teams and uh, also everybody watching us at the Satellite 2017 trade show in Washington. Our very best wishes to everybody. Let's watch the launch. Echo. Attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité. Top. Allumage P80 et décollage. That music during the launch. Good job. Good timing, Yates. Is that real? That looks like CG. Was that a real shot? Is that real? I don't know about that close-up shot. I don't know. trail across the equatorial skies over the Guiana Space Center, heading north out over the Atlantic. We're just getting the rumble, the sound, if you like, of the launcher here at the Mission Control Center. Man, that's exciting. So orange. The job of the first three stages is to get us away from the Earth. Vega's pushing itself away from gravity. And we're burning the first stage. It's called the P-80. That's because 80 is standing for the amount of propellant. 89 tons, in fact. 89 tons of propellant. Of okay. See, our altitude is 35 kilometers above Earth. And Imperial, the please. From the pad. That's actually the distance if you were to draw a straight line from the pad to the position of the launcher along the Earth. And then on the bottom right, you can see is our speed. We're traveling at nearly two kilometers per second, not per hour, but per second. Acquisition de la tête lanceur dans la station la station de Saint Jean. Separation P80. We've separated. Allumage du Zephyro 23. Separated the P80 and lit the engine now on the Z20. Yeah, that is Joining crazy fast. In the commentary box here is Guido Levrini. Guido is the Copernicus Space Program, Space Segment Program Manager. Good job, Yates. So that means that uh, he oversees all the Sentinel satellites. So it's great to have you with us. Thank you very much indeed, Guido. Thank you for having me. That's how you want to travel to TwitchCon. Be there in five minutes and, uh, if you're in Europe. Europe. Developed by ESA. It actually started out as an Italian project, didn't it? Uh, not quite, not uh, completely. Vega grew out of uh, like a joint proud father. between the U.S. and Italy back in the 70s. It was a project called Scout. It was launching from uh, a base uh, off the coast of uh, Kenya, near the equator. And at a certain point in time, in 1992, the U.S. withdrew but from this cooperation, and the Italian Saint continued uh, alone on a new program called Zephyro. And Zephyr in Italian is a name of a wind. And it was based on the carbon fiber technology. What's and up, Vega, Fun Fox? Italian stands for Vettore Europeo di Generazione Avanzata, or Advanced Generation European Vehicle. 
is a loan should developed by the European Space Agency. So it's an ESA project, but you're right, the prime contractor is uh, Italian, <laughs> is ELV, which is a joint venture between the Italian Space Agency and Avio, who is a company based in the south of Rome. We just watched uh, a rocket launch. Flying like the wind, burning the uh, Z I for Z try to stream as many as I can. Second stage, and now about to switch on the Z9, Zephyro 9. I, my pronunciation is probably a bit wrong. I think it's Zephyro in Italian. Zephyro. And the next phase, separation of the fairing, which we don't need anymore because we are 131 kilometers above our planet, and we don't need it because there's hardly any friction. Vega's going from strength to strength. Let's hear from the CEO of Avio. It's kind of weird that they... Avio 9, Avio. Vega has set the world record in terms of accuracy and reliability. With okay. eight perfect launches in a row from the maiden flight in February 2012, exactly five years ago. Vega has demonstrated a unique ability to deploy satellites in multiple orbital planes with unprecedented orbital maneuvers. Vega is the smallest of the European launchers family operated by Ariane Space. Vega was developed by Avio as the industrial prime and is manufactured at 65% in Italy and for the rest across Europe by a team of selected and capable industrial partners. What up? I'm There's Mr. SpaceX himself. It wouldn't be a launch Vega, without you. And we are now developing Vega C, which will fly think so. for the first time in 2019. Uh, so I, Behind um, me, you see the production of I, the I thought first you had it here. carbon fiber motor case of the P120C, uh, actually, the solid um, rocket motor which will equip forgive me, both I don't really Vega remember C doing that. and Ariane right 6. There, you're fixed. This will You've be the world's largest More than monolithic solid rocket motor manufactured in carbon fiber. Except my apology. It is uh, nearly 12 meters long, has a diameter of 3.4 meters, when people and don't contains show up for a while, 142 tons of propellant. All right. Today, Vega will take to space Sentinel-2B, one of the satellites of the European constellation Copernicus. The Avia team, together with its industrial partners, Ariana Space and the European Space Cybe Agency, Tech knows more about astronomy again, and rocket ships than, to demonstrate the strength than anyone of in Europe's here. space strategy. At least more than me, I can say. Which hinges around our close collaboration and confidence. Team. So, I therefore wish the best. Feel free to say to anything. Did you watch it yourself, Sai, or are you, you coming in at the same? Or do you not? What is this one for? Like, it's not SpaceX. It's not NASA. Uh, carbon fiber that he what mentioned there uh, was used in a spin-off to build some great big structures Separation inside. Oh, we have separation of the Z9 oh. inside uh, ITER, which is um, a nuclear fusion uh, I didn't... Uh, no, the timeout was real. Uh, okay, the timeout took it off. I didn't take it off. The timeout so took it off. So our flight path, Guido, uh, takes us north. Where are we going to be flying over? Uh, we are actually flying at the moment over the Caribbean, and uh, we will soon uh, go over Canada. Then over basically, the Arctic, we, I just don't want to read anything down. about why is someone banned. Earth, yeah. that's, that's normal. Hey, Amrin, where have East you been, Asia dude? Coast, it's been like for ages. We'll go over Australia, where we will separate our satellite. This will happen uh, 58 minutes into the flight. And the range of Bermuda. And the range operations manager is confirming there that we picked up the signal at the Bermuda tracking station. That's in uh, the Caribbean, one of the Caribbean islands in the north of the Caribbean. Uh, so we are now flying over the Caribbean. Yeah, I, I have so little time, I have so little modding Why are we experience. Flying I north, Guido. Uh, Sentinel-2 is an Earth observation I, I satellite, so uh, and uh, this satellite... Let's just let it be over the bridge. I, I, I don't have... I can't poles. figure anything out. I got this the memory of a goldfish being on such an or Doria. Orbit, we exploit the rotation of the Earth underneath to VV09. Can you tell me about this rocket at all? Or do you, do you, is it kind of a... Stripe 
you uh, an unknown to you as well. And these stripes, in the case of uh, Sentinel 2B, are very, very wide. Almost it's okay, you don't have kilometers. to. I, I'm just really curious. And this is what allows us to image the whole Earth with one satellite every 10 days, and now with two satellites every five days. And at our latitude, our meaning European latitude, every three days. There is no other system in the world that has this performance. Première allumage de la boom. So, Avon, the upper stage, has switched on its engine. That's going to burn for seven minutes. So we've started the next phase of the journey because Avon has what, effectively taken the wheel, as it were. Yes, it's his job now to deliver the spacecraft to the drop of points at uh, almost 800 kilometers. Uh, but this will go in, uh, in uh, mm -hmm. steps. This will Did you clip it, Fun Fox? You know how to clip? It might not be too now. late. And Avon has started what we call the orbit optimized guidance attitude. Yeah, it continually Most of my clips will be him humiliating. To make sure that it's on the right track. <laughs> and of course, he's deviates. Some things never change. Position. Sentinel 2B is on its way to join its twin. Together, they will perform an important mission. Nordwijk, the Netherlands. In an Aztec clean room, the final preparations are being made for the transport so of the Sentinel 2B satellite to the European Space Force Kourou French Guiana for launch. They were when saying orbit, some some Sentinel pretty impressive stuff about the uh, quality of the rocket. They were saying that it's. Vital role in I mean, Copernicus I didn't really. Program. Copernicus aims to provide timely, accurate, and easily accessible information to monitor our environment. They were saying that. Better understand climate change. And mitigate its effects it's the most accurate rocket ever, civil according to the one guy. The launch of Sentinel European Space will Agency. Be Thank you. The deployment of the Thank most you. ambitious Earth observation program ever developed. Sentinel 2B is the fifth uh, Sentinel uh, which is being launched. We wow! So I would think launched already. Uh, how since 2014. is that? I never, All you know, that, will be I never heard of it. Plus five instruments flying on other satellites yeah. of uh, Umetsat. Uh, so we have a constellation of 20 satellites in its first generation, which we're building up. So Sentinel-2B is number five in this very successful story. Sentinel-2B's uh, identical oh. sister uh, satellite, so Sentinel-2A, was launched in 2015. And soon both satellites will fly in the they same had a world world record orbit, in rocket 180 Wait, degrees apart. This yeah. will ensure that every spot on Earth can be covered in high resolution by the satellites yeah. at least once every five I'm, days. I, Sentinel-2 carries a wide swathe, high-resolution, The Aryan rocket, is that what this is that called? That provides images in 13 spectral channels. It, they keep saying Vega and Sentinel, data is then sent back to Earth and then valuable AVO. data is being distributed. Sentinel-2A is already supporting a lot of applications. They're ranging from, for example, agricultural applications, where we can do yield forecast, to uh, forest monitoring, where we, for example, see deforestation. And uh, besides that, there's plenty of other applications like inland water, where we can look at the quality of the of the water. We I'm can not sure how long we actually watch this also, for. Uh, co um, coastal areas, where we look at the um, uh, changes in the coastal regions. On top of that, looks we like recently they got a changed uh, also to acquire. Looks like they have Antarctic it all planned regions, out. So we're also now looking at ice. Those and are the glaciers. satellite names. Whether it's vegetation monitoring, thank you. Okay, so water quality or flood monitoring. I just want to put it on the ball. As much as I love this stuff, I am completely ignorant. I, I know very little. It can also be used for humanitarian relief. I know I have my knowledge of physics through programming space games. I'm from reading about this stuff as a kid. And the Sentinel-2 satellites are the result of a close collaboration between ESA, the European Commission, and the European Space Industry. I'm very interested in. Industry. Um, the satellites a spacecraft, uh, which that run the internet, and then I'm also interested the in industry. The prime contractor is Airbus this Defense interstellar space discoveries Germany, that we're making, which seem to be really increasing. And well, okay, so, uh, so Big and Sentinel are designer, probably the satellite names. Space in Toulouse. But underneath those two uh, uh, major you industries, uh, you find about 55 companies who have produced the various elements that compose this uh, very performing system, hardware, software, uh, yeah, we streamed that, the announcement. Uh, um, all of that is very important to be able to deliver the high quality and performance mission, uh, which is the one demonstrated with the first spacecraft. Did they say what two people the are going, or was that? The Copernicus program, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the European Commission continue to work it's on still monitoring private and protecting information. our planet and the people who I just want to know, I'm, I'm curious if the people that are going are either 
super wealthy, or and I'm wondering if they're famous. And during that film, we picked I'd like up to the signal that they the were Saint Hubert or Saint Hubert tracking station. That's in northern Canada, and we're Whatever tracking the launch of you but what using are the odds? telemetry. And for anybody who's unfamiliar, I mean, I don't care. I'm not. Gruder, I'm not biased. I, I just am. Uh, I like the idea the of that. Launcher is following being just path is like pure space enthusiasts. Radars, or you know who wouldn't piss me off? You know Richard Garriott, the guy that invented Ultima. On the I met him before I got a picture of, uh, with him. Equipment on board, uh, and this is what he's we a mean huge aspiring telemetry. wannabe astronaut. <laughs> And those tracking stations send the information <laughs> that they've collected from the oh launch boy. vehicle here to, to the CVI. The CVI I is streamed the, the Trump inauguration. That was a pretty. That was actually Indiana a pretty Space successful Center. stream. And the teams got new collect the information and analyze it in real time to check how the flight is progressing. And so also analyze it. To check I gotta how tell you, you know this. Afterwards to see if they can make any improvements you the european space agency seems to be uh and these are the people that pass the information terrorizing the manager we their crew here their the staff control, look at this freaking ugly ass colored wall i'm just saying that is not to all of us an american color wall I, if I lived in, if I had to work in this beige office every day, I'd probably, I'd Flying probably. Flying now at nearly eight kilometers per second, our speed on the bottom right. <laughs> I'm trolling. But it is true. Remember those and keys keyboards and computers? I want nothing to do with them. Don't bring it back. So Sentinel 2A wow, those was old school launched plaques. Uh, two years ago. And, uh, of course, uh, 2 bs on its way to join it, Guido. <laughs> Why do we need uh, a couple of satellites? Uh, briefly? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm I, we need I, I couldn't do it. Because Copernicus is all about uh, uh, delivering uh, a It an should operation. be like a nice and, uh, little uh, blue in there. Like, an uh, system, so you need not cornflower blue. And it's all about... Yo! The earth, uh, and to achieve exactly the hybrid visit, as we call it, which means you have to pass on the various places Yo! on the earth. Yo! Often, often. And you a day that'll be pushed to the surprise. back of textbooks as an embarrassment. And we now have switched off our engine. The Uzi. AM upper stage has switched off its engine, and we have entered what's called the ballistic phase. That's a perfect welcome back sound for this. He's just told us that we've started the orientation before the ballistic phase. And everything's going according to How was your plan. stream, funny guy? Pretty so ass kicking. It looked like you're getting in the, now, the heat yeah. of your, your, your so crafting. I'm pretty excited to uh, try that out. Has so, it has placed our satellite will you pack my jugs of liquid veneer orbit, in 45 and we are boxes? now raising our oh. altitude on this Good. elliptical orbit up to... Uh, the final orbit, which is just below 800 kilometers. And at that point in time, we will explain, we will circularize our orbit. We will Good. And I like uh, the way you said that, too, uh, in again. a playable state. So a lot of times, a lot of the junior devs come in here and they'll the say, almost finished. And here we can see the teams <laughs> And I just want to go <laughs> The European Space uh, Operations Center. That's in Darmstadt. You know what does get finished in, in uh, game development? Yes, is these are our colleagues. The player that, model. Uh, we take control the model of the, as of the character the and all of his weapons and stuff before a game and, uh, ships is usually considered, the can get to for the rest of its 100 percent complete. Long, is, uh, 10 years. <laughs> So That's how you know you're going beta. The once the once the player uh, model is locked, is, uh, coming soon for them. That includes and, uh, everything, uh, you know. The room, then you're the going, you're, you're shipping. Room, but next to the mission control room, there is also a big social event. Yeah, yeah. And well, there you go, Sai. And I was just trying to give an example of one that does exist. Send our greetings to that, all our colleagues. I stand behind. There, yeah. Uh, Startups, small companies, the, students, the model won't. There's a point where you don't go back to it. I mean, it could happen. Expert, the Hopefully, media. no. And if you want to follow the debate, remember, hashtag sentinels to go. Hashtag sentinel to go. And you can take a look Funny at Funny guy that having more git problems than any... Social media. Networks. The, the world also, the Guinness Guido, book. You've been telling me about an app, and I want to tell everybody about this because it sounds quite fun. What's it called, and what does it do? 
Uh, just a you know, replay if you're, here. If you're, if we you, lifted off. There are so many benefits to uh, 17 minutes ago. To getting that the, uh, pad here a at handle the on that. Space yeah, you might even find reach. problems with your project just trying to get that to work. And uh, you were going to tell like, us about your app, you know, Guido. Yes, and then to not have to lug around zip files road, and flash drives and laptops and syncing and all that would be Visa nice too. Sentinel, so ESA, like European Space Agency, Sentinel. The Xylophone Orchestra are about to imbibe jugs of kumquat space. And if you do that, when we are having our break, I invite you to locate Sentinel 2B on the house. Uzi, you've been drinking kumquat This is your challenge, your mission. In, ahead, in we're, in, as in you say, drugs. are going to take a break now because uh, we have uh, a ballistic phase. We're going to come back to you in about 23 minutes time, 23.31, Kuru time. See you then. Oh, okay. Well, it launched. Oh, it's cool. I'm, I'm ending it right here. I was actually doing some uh, graphic design and, and for all the different media actually i have to rename twitch tulsa to tulsa streamers to be eligible for their community program and i'm trying to get them to help out with uh throwing some swag for the heartland gaming expo there's just so much and you'll hear more and more about that on my streams but i had this video open up all morning and all of a sudden it just kicked on the chick's talking we're going launch in 20 minutes and i was like ah and I just, you know, went live and uh, I wanted to share it. There's something real sexy about where the space program is going right now in life. It's accelerating. And there's a decent odds I'll be back. Uh, oh, there's a reasonable odds I'll be doing some, uh, some steampunk racing dev later tonight. Um, but that won't start for two hours. To be honest, after streaming on Game Dev for two years, more than two years, the time between eight and 10 o'clock, it just sucks. That's a crappy window. I'm actually just gonna skip over it. That's where we are right now. That's the window in right now. Yeah, it, I don't know, it's always been like that. But thank you so much for coming. It's a pleasure. I apologize for the any accidental non-welcome roll out carpet vibe that to anyone in particular that was unintentional yeah ebenezer unexpectedly bagged two tranquil aardvarks with his jiffy vacuum this has got to be uzi's freaking bot i know it now they're pentagrams oh wait senses all 26 letters it's not a bot okay Panagram Award goes to Uzi. Oh no, and look who it is. Trevor. Yeah. Selfie time? You're very welcome. I, I'm closing now. I'll take a look at his link. Trevor's a bear and a bro. <laughs> Are you smoking a rocket? I love it, Trevor. I'll save it. You actually have a... Uh, a a selfie folder uh, uh here i watch i have it it's community uh i don't i don't i don't, I don't remember i think i got the memory of a goldfish This way I can make memes. Non-dank memes. I don't really like... Dank... Weed. I like... Neon purple weed. Alright! I don't know. I was trying to think of something. Clearly, I haven't partaked in so long. I don't even know. See you guys later.